Hey, so we remodeled our warehouse. Organization vlog definitely incoming, so you guys can pulverize the like button if you're stoked on that, but that is not the subject of today's video. Today's video is all about how the window in my office that we just remodeled and decorated got moved to here, leaving me with no window and the super high tech solution that I'm gonna use to fix the problem. Savage Jerky is created without the use of nitrates or preservatives. Use offer code LTT to save 10% through the link in the video description. Okay, so we had to make a choice. Replace the window that used to be for looking out over my empire with a window for looking out into part of a stairwell, part of an office space, and part of the middle of a wall, or rip it out and drywall over it, leaving me with only, tragically, a window out into the bench den. Now obviously, since you're already watching footage of it, we went with drywalling over it. So that's done now. But as you can see, they didn't actually paint over it to get it to blend in because while a plain wall would have been fine, we had a much cooler idea. One that some members of our Floatplane community totally clued into during our exclusive office update videos over the last eight weeks. What if we could use the LG Signature Series OLED wallpaper TV that we first saw at CES to kind of have a window here to anywhere. It's less than four millimeters thin, so Yvonne actually came up with a few different concepts. Uh, one that's more of a meeting place, so the idea is that like you could be sitting here, chilling, discussing something while giraffes are like nearby. And then two of them that are more like workspaces where it could be used as a window or a backdrop or just to watch videos, play games or whatever. Although I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need some blinds for my office so no one can see that I'm just totally wasting time in here. So to evaluate its utility for our purposes, Tyler set the TV up on a sacrificial wall here that's actually gonna be torn down as part of some ongoing set construction over the next couple of months. All of the electronics for the TV are in a separate speaker bar unit. So the way it mounts is actually by screwing a big flat piece onto the wall. Then there are these little washers at the top that jut out a bit to support the weight and then the TV is held flat against the wall. <laughs> My magnets. Oh, I just pulled it off. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, first things first though, I need to figure out why it's not actually sitting flat right now. Okay, so is it not lifting up? Oh, there we go. Oh man, that is so trippy. Look at this thing. Okay, so Tyler, if I hold it, it's crazy how light it is. I got it. Okay. Yeah. So, well, if we if we were to screw this in, does that look better? Yeah. Okay. So we need to screw this in. Okay. That's definitely flat. These ones are good. So, uh, how do you line this up? Are you on? Yeah, I'm on? So we're both on. All right, and now, now it's flat. Awesome. That was a relatively simple fix. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Fingerprints removed. Let's fire it up. Okay. So now all we need is some stuff to hook up to it and let's get this party started. First things first. I will need a gaming capable test bench. Titan XP, baby! That's the thing about reorganizing is you don't know where anything is and, ah, Sova. Um, and the last piece, ah, there we go. Our Ultra HD Blu-ray player. HDMI cable of choice. Xbox One S. We so all the I.O., power, 
this ribbon up to the TV. Ooh, that I'm kind of yanking on pretty hard here. Ethernet, uh, USB, and then HDMI is all along this little bottom unit here. Pretty cool. So there, that wants to go right there. Okay, so this thing really doesn't match our color scheme we got going on here. Maybe we can kinda, uh, I don't know what cooling's gonna be like, but I mean, realistically, come on, it's an Xbox. I'm not gonna play games on it. So hopefully it'll stay cool enough to play back Blu-rays and then we're good. Okay, let's switch to that input. Remote hasn't changed since the last LG Signature. That's not necessarily a problem though. I actually really like the air pointy doodad thing that we got going on here. No keyboard detector, what? It is kind of amazing how much of a difference it makes to the look when there's no bottom bezel at all. And when we install it as, the, as a window, we're actually gonna hide the ribbon cable. So it's just gonna be floating there. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to play back these red raw files here. This is not good news. Yeah, without the, uh, the playback bar, I could kind of buy that. You know what I think we're gonna have to do though? This is funny. I'm gonna have to get Brandon to shoot at a higher frame rate, I think, to make it a bit more believable. 60 FPS, 8K footage, baby. You know, it's times like this, I really hate that we have to upload our videos to YouTube where they get compressed to hell. Cause honestly, this looks amazing. And the bitrate isn't even that high. Like we export it, I mean, it's high enough that my Wi-Fi connection is causing it to buffer, but look at this. Honestly, this is worth just pausing on to admire it. So that's 8K footage off one of the world's best cameras on arguably the world's best TV. Look at the detail in the water. And look, you can like see Brendan's face shooting the video. So if there was any doubt that we actually shot this. Tomb Raider, very high, running at 4K, 60 FPS. That's gorgeous. Okay, so last order of business. Let's fire up a 4K HDR Blu-ray. Okay, HDCP handshake with the Xbox One S is running perfectly. And I think we're basically greenlit on this project. Everything that I expected to be good about it is good about it. I mean, none of this is really that surprising. I'm already running an LG OLED at home. But uh, stay tuned for part two because we have quite a plan. Check this out, I was playing with this off camera. You can actually bend this thing like a lot. It's so thin. Crunchyroll is the place to go if you want to watch anime online. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan like Dragon Ball Super and Twin Star Exorcists, and all of the content on their site is professionally subtitled. Our link below, go check it out, gives you a whole month of free anime completely ad-free. And if you enjoy the many benefits of premium membership, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, or game console, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for just $6.95 a month. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and sign up today. So uh, anyway, if you dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also below, you'll find a link to our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, as well as our community forum, which you should totally join. Man, this movie looks good in HDR. Still haven't watched it yet though.